Okay, Mindful Monday. Here we go. So, what I wanted to talk about on this Mindful Monday, trying to maintain the theme of Mindful Monday, it's really an opportunity for me to be mindful, right? And so I was thinking about it and I was like, I want to talk about what it's like to actually feel safe with people. However, I also want to talk about struggling to feel safe with people and why somebody might not feel safe with people or struggle to feel safe with people. So first and foremost, let's go back to the self, right? Because everything originates from the self. Now, I'm going to talk about this while maintaining the Mindful Monday theme. And it's actually cool because I'm happy that I'm choosing this as a topic for Mindful Monday because for myself, and I can imagine that for many other people, I have felt unsafe around other people. But I now know why I have. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So let's talk about when you struggle to feel safe with people, right? If there's something that has consistently happened in my life, throughout my life, starting very early on and growing up, it's just been a theme. It's something that I've done for a long time. It is the act of silencing my intuition. The intuition is basically one of our brains. It's the thing that screams out at us, No! <laughs> right? I don't know if anyone has ever seen the movie Alien, but, you know, when that thing pops out of the chest and it's like, Ah! You know? It's that voice inside of you that's either telling you yes or telling you no. If it tells you no and you do it anyway, then obviously there are consequences. If it tells you no and you follow it, then, you know, you, it, it just, it, it's, it's according to the scenario. It's according to the situation, right? Throughout my entire life, I have pushed down my intuition. I have silenced it. I've basically been like, shut up, right? And doing so has actually led me to be around more people that have been unsafe for me, right? And that would make sense because your intuition is there ultimately to guide you to what I would argue to be self-truth, self-authenticity, right? When you don't listen to your intuition, when I don't listen to my intuition, things that I would argue to be negative happen. Right? However, when you do listen to your intuition, things that I would argue to be positive, good for you, happen. Right? So, when would somebody struggle to feel safe with people? They would struggle to feel safe with people when they actually haven't taken enough time to get in touch with their intuition and actually listen to their intuition. And I have loads of experience with this. I really do. I've spent a lot of time in life just, for lack of a better word, telling my intuition to shut the fuck up. I have. I've abandoned myself. I've neglected myself. I have just not given a shit about myself when I've needed to. Trying to look cool for other people, doing things for other people when I clearly feel like it's not right to do it, right? And so therefore, I teach myself, it's like teaching you the self the opposite of safety. It's like whenever the intuition says no, you do it anyway, right? And that doesn't do good for a person. It really doesn't. And so when a person would struggle to feel safe with people is actually when they struggle to feel safe with themselves. And they would struggle to feel safe with themselves from stuff like that from learning to silence their intuition. It's very important to learn, it, 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 to learn from, of course, the noise of the intuition. I don't want to call it noise. I'll call it, um, 
it's, it's, it's a voice, it's a mind, it's there to communicate something to you, right? So when you struggle to feel safe with people, it's because you've learned to feel unsafe with yourself because you haven't followed your intuition. Everything in regards to how you experience other people starts with how you experience yourself. And this is something that I've learned. I used to say years ago, the first and foremost important relationship that you will ever cultivate for yourself is the relationship with yourself. And the more you get away from that, the more you're going to find yourself in unsafe, unhealthy, toxic, and just completely fucked up relationships with other people, right? So Mindful Monday, this Mindful Monday is all about being aware, being mindful of your intuition. Because when you struggle to feel safe with people, it's because you actually struggle to feel safe with yourself. You struggle to say no when you need to. You struggle to not feel guilty, to not feel obligated, to not feel, you know, shame, right? And you'll experience that with other people if you feel that way with yourself. And this is why it's so important to cultivate the relationship with the self first. <laughs> Believe me, I've had a really fucking hard time. I'm, I'm, I'm naked now. Metaphorically, of course. I'm just, I'm being, I'm being honest, right? I've had a really fucking hard time with saying no, right? Um, when I absolutely fucking need to. And when I've struggled to do that, it's actually landed me in even worse scenarios with people, right? Um, so yeah, somebody that struggles to feel safe with people... It's because they struggle to feel safe with themselves. They struggle to actually listen to their intuition when it's telling them no. And the importance of listening to that is the difference between them landing themselves in a situation with somebody who's unsafe versus somebody who's actually safe. Somebody who's safe is not going to criticize another person. Somebody who's safe is not going to invalidate another person. And you know when you feel safe with somebody. But the challenging thing here, and I've experienced this before too, the challenging thing here is that when you've been around people for so long that make you feel unsafe, it's like you don't even know where your intuition is anymore, right? It's almost as if there's no voice there to be like, no, right? The voice all of a sudden kind of just becomes like, do what you want. Right? And then it just turns around, right? And if it gets unhealthy enough, the voice ends up being like, fuck you. <laughs> right? But at this point in my life, I'm really doing the best that I can to listen to my intuition, to feel what I'm feeling, and to not feel obligated, to not give in to that, to not give in to the shame, the guilt. That shit is all coming from other people. Shit, people are going to guilt and shame the shit out of you. We live in a very shame-based society, you know? A lot of people only care about what it is that they want, and you're not going to feel safe around people that are like that. Not everyone does, but a lot of people do, right? And they'll shame you for what you feel. They'll shame you for what you try to communicate. They'll shame you for trying to feel safe. They'll guilt you. They'll, they'll obligate you. They'll, they'll do all of these fucked up things because that's what they learned. But the most important thing, let them leave. The most important thing is feeling safe. Because when you struggle to feel safe with people, just remember it has more to do with you than it has to do with them. The only reason they're there is because you're attracting them, but figure out why you're attracting them. You're attracting them because you've learned to shut your intuition up. You've learned to silence it and push it down. That's why you found yourself with them in the first place. You can do differently as long as you change your relationship with yourself.